everybody welcome to life is strange i never even played this game once before i played it on my ps3 but i never can record on my playstation 3 so yeah let's get into this so what are we supposed to do i forgot these game one okay let's start a new game is this like i think this is like A like scary half not scary game. So I'm just gonna be playing this like what the crap? What the crap? Oh my god! Pieces of time. That was but he could be talking about photography, photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces. Faces? You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Take selfie. And frankly, it's bullshit. I want to take a selfie. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point uh, remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. The only reason I'm keeping quiet because I want to hear this uh, story. story. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I don't know. Uh, I didn't know. You're asking me. You're asking me. L let me think. Um, you either know this or not, Max. 
Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Shut up! You're rude! Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. What's in the bag? The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. You can find out all about it. What's in my journal? I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Oh yes, you guys don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. How do I get out? I forgot! You see the door? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot. Oh, there it is. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? Yeah, but you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. I wish I could have a face cam. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. Hi! You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a you always Welcome to the real world. Cute. Huh. Yeah, welcome then, to the real uh, world! Who did? Like I'm not talking to her. That's all I know. Oh, that's ugly. That's ugly. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that glass. It's so fucking boring. Where the bathroom at? Oh, I know where it happens. But. I'm not spoiling the story if you don't, if you guys don't know. So, yeah. I love this music. It's very nice. Yay. Probably one of the first games I made. Like, at the beginning of the story, without even knowing what's happening. Or oh, something, actually. To all of you, oh, look at that, boy! I wish October would last forever. Yeah, see! American girl. I would like to look at this. Call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Oh, that would be awesome. And I read the bow. Read the bow. No, I'm not looking at that. Where do you think you're going, Missy? Come, oh, come back here, whoever you are. Go through the doors and I can't. You're dumb. American girls in the movies. No one can tell where your heart is. American girls like dollies with shiny smiles and plastic bodies. All right. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Oh, this is a scary part, guys. I remember what happens. Time to wash my tears away. 
I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. The butterfly. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Doing. I'm taking a photo of that. Well, yeah, I got my photo. Yeah, this is a scary part. I remember. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just. Count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer who not believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Why are okay, I don't care if you don't Because of her images of hopeless faces. <laughs> Who perfectly captured the human time machine? Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. Victoria? Victoria? Why are Keep it together, Max. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. And frankly, it's bullshit. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment no, I can't, of desperation. Because I hate you. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too, too obvious? obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Shut up! She had a brilliant eye. She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. I have to admit. I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. No! Me too, Victoria. 
Why did I? He captured the essence of post-war beat America. I believe Max has 